Hello, and welcome to Jolene Knits A Lot. This is my show about knitting and crafting and the other things I get up to. How are you? It's that weird time between Christmas and New Year's where I can't remember what day of the week is and I have no idea what I should be doing. Today, I would like to catch you up on some of the crafting I did before Christmas. Some of it was gifts and some of it was completely selfish knitting. Um, but I wanted to let you know about what I'm wearing today. This is the Destination Unknown shawl. Um, I knit this last year, last year. I used Spin Cycle um, in the dyed in the wool color for the color shifting. And the black, I believe, is a Brooklyn Tweed color, I think. But I should, I will let you know in the show notes below. Um, I really liked this shawl when it came out. I just love the pattern. It is knit using mosaic knitting. So although it looks like two color knitting, it is two color knitting. You're only ever using one color at a time and then slipping stitches in the other color to create the pattern. I really like it. Um, and again, I will put a link to this pattern in the show notes below. Okay, let's get to the gift knitting. I was very ambitious this year and I decided I would knit my husband a sweater. Um, and I decided to start on December 1st. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but I managed to finish. Um, fortunately for me, fortunately, unfortunately, most fortunately, um, my family and I decided to go on a quick little ski trip before Christmas. We left on December 20th to go to Jasper. Uh, Jasper is about a four hour drive from Edmonton, straight west into the Rocky Mountains. And it's a beautiful town. And it's also um, the ski hill that we've skied the most. It's the only place I've ever skied in the mountains. Um, so it's very familiar to us. And although we all ski, I'm not as strong a skier as um, some other members of my family. <laughs> but the trip out there uh, provides some nice time to knit uh, on the way. And then in the evenings when we're exhausted from a day of skiing, um, knitting in the hotel room while we warm up and, and are cozy. So I managed to get this sweater finished on the drive home from Jasper on December 23rd, <laughs> uh, which left me just enough time to block and dry this sweater. This is the Hide and Peak sweater by Maxim Sear. I knit it using Farmer's Daughter Recollect yarn, which is a sport weight Rambouillet. It's beautiful yarn. I would encourage you to give it a try. Um, it was turns out to be great for color work. It's a really soft yarn. Like it's just got a, a nice sort of weight to it. It is um, sport weight and has like a really lofty feel. So although um, it is a warm sweater, it doesn't feel super dense. Um, here's the sleeves. I um, was pretty successful in doing uh, helical knitting to vary up the color, except for right here. Uh, and that is where the sleeve joins the body. I'm not sure what I could have done differently to make that better. I suppose I could have held off some of the body color to stripe into the sleeve, but really it was more of a problem on one side than the other. So I'm not sure what could have been done to fix it, but, but you know what? It is what it is. And I'm pretty happy with this sweater overall. I didn't do the color work at the sleeves. I just left them plain, partly because I think my husband would have pref would prefer that. I don't think he knows that there was a difference. Um, it fits him really well. I'm going to include some pictures of him wearing it as soon as I get some pictures of him wearing it. Um, he wore it Christmas day and I think he really liked it. It is a bit of a warmer sweater for him. Um, here's the body of the sweater. And I did put on one of my little labels, um, mostly so that he can know which is the front of the sweater when he's going to put it on. I got these, oh, maybe a year ago, and they say Jolene knits a lot. Um, I am very happy with this sweater. I did do a couple things differently from the pattern. I used, uh, the pattern calls for a 3.75 millimeter needle for the body of the sweater. Um, but I didn't think that I would get gauge. So I went up to a four millimeter and spot on for me. Um, again, your mileage may vary, but for me, a four millimeter was perfect. Um, and 
the other thing I did different, not did differently, but the other difference for me was that because my husband has a very long torso, I wanted to make sure that this sweater was going to be long enough in the body. This is a very long sweater for him so that it would fit comfortably without riding up or looking too short. So I did order myself an extra skein of the main color yarn. The pattern for this size, which is the 44 inch chest, calls for seven skeins of the main color and each skein is two ounces or 57 grams. Um, I ended up using about a quarter of an eighth skein. So I was really glad that I ordered an extra. If I didn't have it, it probably would have been fine. I would have maybe lost <clears throat> A couple inches in the body but I'm really glad that I, I I did get that extra skein because for him this is this is a really good length and the arms are a good length um, the colors that I used for the yoke are natural for this light gray color this beautiful sagey green is called ranch romance and this deeper gray is called Chinook winds and the main color is Paul Newman. I'm really happy with how the sweater turned out. I uh, would take more time to knit it <laughs> the next time, um, just because I did feel quite rushed and, and pressured to finish this project for Christmas. But I guess if, it's, if you're not like knitting to the last minute, it's not really Christmas knitting, is it? <laughs> um, the, the thing that sort of complicated this pattern, not pattern, did, project, this project for me was that I also decided at the same time to um, cross stitch a second knitter um, cross stitch project. Um, this project took longer or more time than I kind of anticipated. It is slightly more complicated than some of the other cross stitch patterns I've done in the past um, and a little bit bigger and it did take longer than I thought it was going to originally. So I was sort of divvying up my time between cross stitching and working on this sweater. Uh, fortunately for me, once I got through this color work section, the rest of it was just smooth stockinette stitch and it went really smoothly. It did take a while, especially the body because it's a large number of stitches and you're just knitting round and round and round. Uh, but thankfully I was able to finish my second um, knitter cross stitch and this is what they both look like side by side. They're not perfect and they're not the same because I made different mistakes on each one uh, just so that the recipient would feel extra special. That's not why, I just screwed up. Um, but I didn't really, I mean some of the, I did make some mistakes that I pulled out if I noticed I had done it right away and other ones I just decided to work around because I think I would be the only one who would really pick it out unless you're really um, familiar with this pattern and looking very closely at it. And if you do see the differences, don't tell me because I'm, I'm not really bothered. <laughs> um, but I was really happy to finish them both and I think that both um, people who received these gifts were very grateful for them and our knitters okay. in their own way. I also finished a couple of pairs of um, striping socks over the last couple days. These were some special uh, skeins of yarn designed to be knit throughout the month of December. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is the Owen and Knight socks. This is a 31 stripe skein dyed by the Wool Baron. Um, the Wool Baron dyes out of Calgary, which is a somewhat local to me dyer, and she does lovely stripey work, but check these out. 31 different stripes of yarn for the 31 days of December. I used Sheepy's Metropolis in the Warsaw colorway for heels, cuffs, and toes. These socks were knit from the top down and I inserted an afterthought heel. And I just think they're great. I really enjoyed knitting on these socks. Um, I did sing the song to myself every time I picked them up because it's a great tune, <laughs> very catchy. And I just love how they sort of have um, a bit of a mod feel in spots. I love this mint green next to the red. I love this sort of um, pale section. I love these icy green or icy greeny blues right here. It's just, it was just a really, really fun knit. And these socks, again, I will wear all year round uh, because they go with everything and they're beautiful. I was really fortunate in that the um, sock, this 
skein that I ordered from Wool Baron was a 50 gram skein. So I used every little bit of it and there's nothing left, which I, I really appreciate. I like not having um, extra skeins of yarn um, lying around. The next pair of socks that I have to show you are the 24 stripes of Advent. These, this is dyed by the Cozy Knitter. You may have seen these on Instagram or in other people's feeds already because it's a very, very popular um, Advent. And I really like it. I like the idea of knitting a stripe every day instead of getting a small skein of yarn because to me that's more um, practical. I don't need, I don't, I'm not the type of knitter who uses a lot of mini skeins. And so um, self-striping yarn suits me much better. These are my 24 stripes of Advent. These again were knit from the top down and I used a coordinating mini skein that came with the yarn. It's called Northern Lights and it's a white sparkly uh, with some tonal grays and it's very pretty. And I just loved knitting these two. This again is the 24 stripes of Advent by The Cozy Knitter. These sock yarns tend to go on sale in June or July. So if you're interested in getting one for next year, what I would suggest to you is to follow these dyers on Instagram if you can, um, because they will give you ample opportunity to know when they're going to put their pre-orders pre up. I ordered the Cozy Knitter skein in July, I want to say July 25th. She always gives you lots of um, warning for when there's going to be the pre-sale on sale and it usually goes on sale sometime in July. So if you uh, follow them on Instagram, they will let you know when their pre-orders will be. For the Cozy Knitter socks that I got this year and last year, I only used up half of the yarn. So I still have a 50 gram skein in my stash. Um, and I'm trying to decide what to do with them. If you're interested in a 50 gram skein of self striping yarn for next advent or for whenever, let me know. I have last year's and this year's, um, and I'm sure we can work something out. Uh, it's 50, 50 grams of yarn and each 50 gram skein is enough for two repeats of the 24 stripes. So you could get two stripes, two, two socks that look like this as well. Or I also have one from last year. If you're interested, let me know. Um, just leave a comment. Or you can email me at jolienitsalot at gmail.com. Um, and those are all my finished objects for this Christmas season. I will be honest, I was working quite feverishly up until Christmas. And I hope that next year I watch this video and remind myself to take it easy a little bit. <laughs> Um, but now that the holidays are over and all the gifts have been given and received, um, hopefully gratefully received, it's time to start some new projects. And I haven't, some years I have like big ideas of what I'd like to knit, like um, challenging projects or things that I really want to tackle. This year, um, there's two projects that I, I want to work on right now. And they're both sort of straightforward, cozy kind of knits. I'll show you the one that I haven't cast on and then I'll show you the one that I have. <laughs> the, uh, the first project that I wanna share with you is some DK socks. I have never knit DK socks and I um, polled the audience a couple of episodes ago and a lot of you told me about the DK I will insert the name of the, of the pattern right here, but it's a DK sock pattern by the Crazy Sock Lady. It's a free pattern, and that is what I'm going to be casting on very shortly. I'm going to be using this beautiful yarn I picked up at the Edmonton Fiber Frolic. It's called Gingerbread House, and it's knit by Ginger Snaps. Her new um, squishy DK sock base is I believe 80% merino and 20% nylon. So it's perfect for socks because it will be hard wearing. And it comes with a contrasting little skein. It looks like this. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited to cast these on. Now I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to get out of this mini skein. My plan is to knit a heel. I'm gonna knit these from the top down. I'll knit a heel and then I'll weigh this little skein and see how much I have left. 
In an ideal world, I could get heels and toes out of this skein. If I can only get heels, that's fine too. So I'm looking forward to casting those on soon. And I think they'll go lickety split because I will be using 3.25 millimeter needles and casting on 48 stitches. For a normal um, sock, a normal sock for myself, an average sock for myself, such as this one, I cast on 64 stitches and I use a 2.25 millimeter needle. So these will just go super fast. And so I'm looking forward to knitting those in the next coming weeks. And the other project that I cast on recently while watching whatever uh, TV I felt like, to be honest, I've been watching um, the Wheel of Time series and watching The Great, which is another great show. What else I've been watching? My husband and I have been watching Yellowstone. It's just relaxing and watching some TV and knitting. Finally, though, I cast on the stripes pullover. This is a pattern by Andrea Mowry. I've been talking about this pattern for ages. I finally had the time to cast it on. I'm using Recollect yarn as well as some old some of the farmer's daughter Odang, which is her um, Surya Pakis silk blend, and it's beautiful. So this is how much I've done. <laughs> Only a couple of stripes. But it's going really, really well, and I'm enjoying the knit. It's very uh, peaceful knitting, and I really enjoy it. I am doing um, jogless stripes, which is a, a technique if you Google jogless stripes, you'll be able to find it, uh, a tutorial for it. There's an excellent explanation of how to do it in this pattern. And, and what it does is help you not have a step when you're knitting stripes in the round. So um, as you know, with knitting, uh, if you're knitting in the round, it, it's a tube. So each, it's like a, a long spiral. So your stripes will never meet up end to end because as soon as you come around for the next stripe, the yarn will move up a step. So if you use the jogless stripe technique, which again, you can find online or a very good explanation in this pattern, you will find that you don't really get that step. This is where my uh, stripes, where I have been introducing the next color in the striping sequence. And I feel like I'm getting uh, a pretty good result, very little jogs there. Um, and it's going really nicely. And I'm just gonna be knitting stripes peacefully and watching TV until someone makes me go back to work in approximately one week. Uh, I've been really enjoying spending some time with my family. I've gotten to see my parents and my siblings, spend some time with my nephew who has moved to Vancouver for schooling. And I've been able to spend some time with friends as well. So it's been a really nice holiday season and a nice time for me to catch up on sleep <laughs> and to catch my breath. And I hope that you are finding the same at this time of year, whether or not you celebrate holidays at this time of year, everything seems to slow down a little bit as we get closer to the new year. And I hope that you've had a chance to find some peace and to find some rest and to take time to look after yourselves. I plan on cozying up for this next couple weeks because it's, it's incredibly cold in Edmonton right now. I don't even want to tell you how cold it is. It's that cold. It's so cold that your nose hairs freeze when you step outside. Fun fact. Um, so my plan for the next few days is to watch some movies and knit and relax a bit more with my friends and family. And I hope that you find the time to do the same. I hope in the next couple of weeks you find time to do the things that you enjoy doing, whatever that is. I plan on knitting a lot. Happy New Year and all the best from me to you. Bye.